Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and this will be an unboxing for the Joker Batman imposter version by Hot Toys. A uh, quick little backstory on this figure, I was never interested in getting this. Uh, I thought the mouth plate looked really ugly and that's about the only reason really. I just remember when it first sort of was announced by Hot Toys, the prototype pictures came out and I just thought it looks ugly basically. So I kind of wrote it off, had no intentions of ever getting it. Um, but I do admit that, you know, I'd see it from time to time and I was, there was a little voice in my head saying, why don't you have that? But, you know, like I say, ugly mouth plate. And um, there's not many reviews on this on YouTube. There's about maybe four or five that I found recently. And I was just watching YouTube on my Xbox and just recommended videos were coming up. And I watched one of the How to Be Opposer videos uh, for the guy. Sorry, I haven't done the research and double checked his name. Uh, but he does videos for Sideshow Collectibles doing the, you know, how to how to pose your figures. And he did one on this figure. And I was just watching it and, and kind of, you know, half paying attention, half not. And then suddenly a light bulb just went off in my head. And I had an idea for something to do with this figure. So I just got my phone out and went to eBay, typed in the figure. And a really good deal came up straight away with someone who actually lives about 15 minutes away from me. Um... And it was just, the price was perfect. So I just thought to myself, even if I mess up what I'm going to attempt to do with this, uh, I won't lose out on much money at all. It was a really good price. And so, yeah, here is uh, the cape that I'm sort of working on for him. Because I'm going to change the cape. I'm going to do a lot of different stuff. Basically, I just thought I might as well do an unboxing, give him my first impression, seeing this in person for the first time. And then I'll do a quick review Nothing too detailed like usual because this has been out for a while. But I do want to do a little unboxing and review of it for you. Because there's not that many videos of it on YouTube. So, let's see how it looks. The slipcover artwork is okay. It doesn't really do it for me that much. Um, and it's not terrible. Well, I do like that better though. I love this. That's really cool. I think if I'm going to display the box behind him, I might actually just display this part of the box. And there he is in there. But you can change the mouth plates with your other versions that you have from, you know, your regular version of Batman over there. Um, you can use all the mouth plates with him. And I'll just show you something I'm working on. Uh, just for a laugh. It's not meant to be on the Nightmare Batman. It's just something I was doing just for just for my own amusement really but it's a spare mouth plate I had and that's uh, something I'm going to be using on this so I'm going to do the beef mod that I did with the regular version of this Batman just to sort of you know beef out the chest a little bit got a lot of paints recently at an art shop because I'm going to be doing a lot of repainting on this so we'll get the unboxing out of the way and the review done today hopefully and it'll all be clear sailing for the next two nights off from work I can just spend them working on my little project here get a new cape on him beef him up repaint him and I'll show you basically this is the Joker um, dressed up as Batman but I want to turn it into Batman turning into the Joker so that makes more sense because of his proportions as you know you know Jared Leto is not as big as Ben Affleck but anyway let me just get this open and we'll see how it actually looks for the first time in person because I've only ever seen pictures and some videos but I like this part of the box. It's nice. Did I flip it over? Just in case you want to see. That's just the credits. All right. All right. Well, here he is in the box. The green on the cow looks really different to how it does in the videos I've seen. It's a lot lighter. So the paint that I've actually bought is not the right shade of green. Uh, that I saw in the well videos that I watched on YouTube, but that's okay because I can just add white paint to the green to lighten it, so I don't have to go out and buy more paint or anything. Yeah, <laughs> he sure is ugly. But switching out the mouth plate is going to change that. I intend to get rid of the damage on the forehead and the J on the cheek, the hearts on the neck, and all the stuff on the back of the cowl as well. I'm going to get rid of all of that. Um, the only thing I'm not too sure what I'm going to do about is the Joker across his bat emblem. Um, definitely going to do something with this. Definitely going to weather and uh, 
darkened this a lot with like a black wash. Uh, I'm debating with myself whether or not to leave this smiling tattoo. or No, it's not a tattoo, obviously, because it's on his gauntlet. But debating whether or not to leave that there. Um, don't know what I'm going to do about the ha-ha-has, but I'm going to do something probably. Uh, I'm going to make the red paint. You know, everyone always says, is it supposed to be paint or blood? But I am um, going to make it look more like blood. So uh, that should be interesting. But yeah, going to change the cape. This one has uh, got some rip effects. Just still need to do a few more black washes on this one. But that's going to be interesting. But yeah, I'm tempted to just change the mouth plate instantly, but I just want to keep it stock for the unboxing and uh, the review. Just get them done quickly. So I'll just give him my first impressions. But yeah, for the price I got him for, because I know these, well, someone sold one of these for £280 and I got mine for 150 straight up. So I uh, just, you know, couldn't resist that. It's just damn good price for something like this. I just see it as a nice little project. And because it's the uh, the same body, the same suit, everything as the, um, the regular version here. That's one of my favorite figures. And... Uh, Yep, just an amazing piece. He was his crazy brother. So, yep, can't wait to try uh, this mouth plate instead. So I know it looks crazy on Nightmare Batman, I know. Some of you guys were saying it looks like a... Well, I don't want to say, but... I don't want to offend anyone in this super easily offended world we live in now. So, what else can I do? Let me just pop him down here. Let me just move this stuff. I know this unboxing is very um, unprofessional so far. But what are you going to do? There isn't really any unboxings of this guy on YouTube. So let's just uh, give you the old first impressions. I really like him. I had a feeling I would. I'm even kind of starting to like the weird crazy mouth plate. Obviously that's meant to be um, like Jared Leto's grill. It's It's just insane. Really unique. I know it is just a repaint, you know, the only new thing you get in here is a new mouth plate, but um, yeah, I just can't wait to take a paintbrush to this thing and change the cape and change the mouth plates. I might even make another mouth plate as well. I have a spare, just straight face, uh, just a straight face Ben Affleck mouth plate. I have one uh, that came with the Nightmare Batman and one that came with the regular. So I didn't mean to just flip you off, Mr. Joker Batman. But yeah, once I change the cape, I think that's going to make a big difference because I don't like the way this stock cape looks. It just doesn't sit right on the shoulders. But I know the uh, the custom one over there from Jackson XU that are repainting, uh, that one's going to make a hell of a difference. And once I get rid of the annoying sort of damaged across here, get rid of the J off the cheek, and figure out what I'm going to do about all the rest of this. We'll definitely want to blackwash this, like I said, and darken that down. I want to make it look a bit more grimy and nasty. And uh, get the old toothbrush with some really blood red paint and just flick the bristles. Looks like he's been just... Yeah, I'm going to make him look nasty. He's really cool though. Yep. Yeah. Bit of a weird one. I just kind of find myself looking at it thinking, why the hell didn't you get this sooner? Just, I mean, even if you were just going to change the mouth plates and leave it like that. It's just... As a Batman fan, I mean... It's a pretty awesome piece. So, got me 10 minute limit filming time with the Samsung here. So I'll just give you a few more angles. Posability on this guy is going to be really good. Just like the other one. Myers. Waiting for that Halloween trailer to drop. Come on. Alright, that's about time up. So... I'm going to review him today. I'm going to get that done real quick. Just get you a nice little review, show you some poses, compare him with some other figures, maybe set him up with the other Jokers. And then it's time to customize the hell out of him. So keep an eye on the channel for that and see the results with the new mouth plates and all that stuff. It's going to be good. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, DeanKnight333. Uh, make sure you hit the bell icon on this channel so you get notifications on all the videos and you don't miss out. And stick with me for live Sundays, 9 p.m. UK time, going live. All right. Nice.